Okay, fifth grader. So tonight we're, we're looking for equivalent fractions again, or sometimes you can think of these um, as proportions. That's another word you might hear sometime. Um, 20 times 8 equals 160. So 3 times 8 will equal 24. So our missing number up here is 24. The other way you could do it is to multiply up 160 times 3 and then 20 times 24. Those are some big numbers to work with, but also another possibility. Uh, 12 times 12 is 144, so 8 times 12 equals 96 for that one. And then down here, 8 times 3 equals 24, so 1 times 3 would be 3. Make sure you've got your name on this too, it's in a different spot. Sometimes kids forget if it's not in the corner. 9 times 9 is 81, so 3 times 9 is 27. Just going to move it a little bit here so we stay focused. Next we've got 5 times 4 is 20, so 2 times 4 would be 8. 5 times 4 is 20 and 3 times 4 this time would be 12. Moving down. 4 times 9 is 36, so 1 times 9 is 9. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48, so 3 times 6 would be 18. Uh, 48. So 48 divided by 8, or by divided by 4 is 8, just thinking backwards, or 4 times 8 is 48. So 3 times 8 is 24. Uh, 8 times 6 is 48, so 6 times 6 is 36. Got to make sure I'm still on camera here. Uh, 3 times 10 is 30, 1 times 10 is 10. 5 times 8 is 40, 4 times 8 is 32, 5 times 4 is 20, 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 1 times 4 is 4, 8 times 11 is 88, 6 times 11 will be 66, and 5 times 6 is 30, so 1 times 6 is 6. We get 6 30ths. All right, that's it. Thanks for working with me today.